This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Counselor, bitch, please. The parents of my friends would say shit like, but you don't look Jamaican or Haitian. Really? Have you been there? No? Then shut the fuck up. My father was born and raised in Lakai, Haiti. His mother raised him with her sisters. She was a twin. She had brown skin and her sisters had dark skin. My grandma had a relationship with a man, and those are the only details I know. Shit, I don't even know if my dad has a birth certificate. But my grandma got pregnant, and legend has it. Please don't get me started on some deep-rooted Caribbean family secrets. Nobody got the time. Legend has it. They couldn't be together because she had darker skin than him. So she just went off and did her thing and raised my dad. His father went off and married someone with light skin and had a whole other family. The resemblance between the two families is a frightening. In the case of the Haitian doctor and the nurse, yes, you are the son. Evidence? Just look in the motherfucking mirror. My dad never grew up with a dad, yet he was a pretty great dad for me growing up. I mean, yeah, he's batshit crazy and hot-tempered, but he's human as fuck. My grandfather had a lot of children, kind of like a Mormon dude, but without the compound. So it's hard to say how many people I'm actually related to. I mean, to give you an example of how this plays out, my friends will have strangers slide into their DMs to say, you cute or you up. But for me, strangers slide into my DMs to be like, I think we're cousins. No, no, I really think we're related. Holidays are always so easy. JK, LOLs, they are not. My mother is from Jamaica and has four brothers between her two parents. Truly, she's a loyal sister and a selfless wife. She's also a pretty solid mom, except for her snooping problem. Momsies is like a real-life CSI, wearing blazers, crunching numbers, inspecting the suspicious toothpaste left around the sink, and reading my diary. Yep, I had a diary when I was 10, and she read that shit and then chicken breast grilled me on it. She was like, why didn't you tell me you have a crush on a guy named Russell? That's why, to this day, I can't remember shit and I never write anything down. Because what you don't remember, you really don't know. Just ask that white girl from Homeland with the ugly cry. If I had to diagnose it, I'd say I have Jamaican mom PTSD. Whenever I hear my little firecracker of a mom coming around the corner, even now, starting in with that disapproving accent, I duck and cover and then point at my sibling, which is very weird because I'm the only child. It just goes to show you, deflect and defend is a great domestic policy in my little world. I stand by it. I truly do. I even do a downward dog for it. So, back to Jersey. The first house my parents ever owned was a cute starter kit home in a blue-collar neighborhood with a sunken living room, sunroom, and one bathroom. And if you know me, then you know my dream home is going to have at least five bedrooms and 27 bathrooms. That's right, honey. Having so many toilets that no one in the house knows what kind of day you had, now that's a true sign of success. We also had a big backyard, and job bless my parents. They didn't know they had purchased a house in a flood zone. Ain't that cute? My earliest and first childhood memories will forever be around what I call the floods. I remember my neighbor was in her driveway in a canoe, rowing down the street like it was just another normal day in Jersey. But hey, man, that shit looked fun. So I joined in. I mean, what other light-skinned girl can say she learned how to swim in her driveway? I don't know another one. Do you? Well, if you do, we probably related. You should give her my number. Our neighbors had a daughter named Jen, who was one of my oldest friends. I mean, we still keep in touch to this day. Our moms were knocked out at the same time together. Jen was born exactly 30 days before me, so basically we were destined to be friends. Plus, our moms were throwing off some mad pheromones at each other across the driveway, separating our houses. I can only imagine the vortex of juju that created. Seriously, though, I mean, ain't that the real reason people love their neighbors? They go through some real intense life shit together, like another human being kicking out of your undercarriage to carve out her place in the world. Jen had two older brothers, and I was the only child, and we hung tough. Truth be told, we shared everything like sisters. My dad would take me around the block on the back of his bike, then he'd come back, take me off, put Jen on the bike, and take her around too. We even tried out together for the school play in our Catholic grammar school, and neither of us made the cut. But the nuns felt so bad that they put us in some Old Testament production about the beginning of creation. I had to wear a black leotard, and Jen had to wear a white one. I was supposed to play the darkness, and she was supposed to play the light. 
it took me years to realize that that shit was racist as fuck when we weren't at school we watched movies together like yaya six